Hello everyone. This is me Anub, research scholar, Department of Computer Science, University of Calicut. So this is the uh, second part of our first module. In this part, we are uh, going to discuss about how to install a particular content management system Joomla on your local host machine. Okay. So we already discussed what is a content management system and different category of content management system uh, like ECM and uh, WCM and uh, some of the benefits uh, of a particular content management system and uh, three different kind of uh, content management systems and uh, and next we are going to discuss about a particular software content management system web content management system which is Joomla. So uh, for uh, installing Joomla, we already discussed what we need. We need two fundamental things and the basic things. These are a web server, a powerful web server and a database server. So which one is our uh, web server? I'm working with Ubuntu. So I'll be happy with Apache web server and uh, the database which I'm used for uh, installing Joomla is MySQL database server. So these are the two things. So uh, we are next we are jumping into the installation. So before that uh, we will move into a, a simple example uh, of Joomla web page. So here I can use uh, we can see the uh, simple example. This is a personal no this is the depart this is our department uh, website which is created uh, based on the Joomla. Uh, software here you can see a uh, lot of menu items are there a lot of uh, notifications uh, news updates are publishing and uh, we have uh, a simple login is here um, so probably a joomla software have two different ends uh, the first one is a front end which is available to the public user so if i am a public user i can only access this uh, front end so this is the front end and uh, how can we fill data into particular links so you can see uh, here uh, the vision and mission is here yeah so it's a good vision and mission uh, and again if you want to looking into some uh, people details so student is here phd student so what are the phd students and uh, regarding the title this is you can see their admission all those things you can see here so how we can manage all those pages this is a front end view and how we can add items into this page so that is with the help of a backend so this is a backend uh, in this backend you can easily create content you can easily manage content you can easily archive the content you can do whatever things you want uh, uh, to manage your digital content so this is a backend and this is a particular front end for your uh, web pages so this is a two different views of a particular joomla software this is a backend the backend is used for managing the content and this is a front end this is available to the public user the public user can only access the data access the uh, uh, digital content so this is uh, the two different uh, part of a joomla software okay i hope it is clear so next we will move into installation of joomla so for installation of Joomla, what we need? We need a uh, local host web server. So my machine is ready with uh, Apache. Yeah, it is ready with Apache server. Yeah, I'm ready with Apache server. So next I need to check whether uh, my database is ready or not. So how we can check localhost slash php php my admin. So our, my, yeah, my database is also ready to work uh, with uh, the Joomla. So uh, next what we need to do we need to download the software setup joomla so where we can download the software you can uh, use uh, two different methods you can go to google google.com then google.com you can just type uh, download joomla joomla download the second one i think yeah second one and just open up the link this is uh, a verified link um, i mean uh, a secret link and uh, this is the official page of joomla you can see joomla.org the link is joomla.org slash download.html in this page you can see a lot of uh, uh, things regarding with uh, the joomla the about page the community the support uh, read uh, extend if you have if you need uh, do more uh, things about joomla uh, or any doubt you can go for the joomla forums 
and if you want to meet the developers you can also uh, meet the developers you want to study the code you can also download the codes and you can easily study the code and all so here we go uh, how we can download this is the download button so this is latest version of joomla we are going to install the latest version 3.6.2 so just press the download button it will start downloading yeah this is a zip a zip file um, which contain all the things what we needed for installing the joomla okay so we'll press ok button it will take a few minutes five to few minutes uh, my internet connection is uh, a little bit slow otherwise it will take uh, some uh, very few minutes so it takes six minutes so that uh, i'm already downloaded the package and will install uh, the joomla with uh, that package okay so uh, yeah this is what i already downloaded the software uh, zip file joomla 3.6.2 stable full package a zip file so what i need to do i need to just extract the file yeah i'm going to extract just it is ex extracting yeah okay a few minutes yeah, here it goes right so this is the extracted package this is the software this is the software setup we need to install so next you can uh, just see what are the items inside the joomla we have an administrator window administrator uh, folder so all the administrator administration files are inside the administration folder bin is there cache and some image folder is there uh, all those image items are available in this image folder and uh, installation folder is one of the important thing so uh, while when you are installing the joomla we will start with we will begin with the installation folder and after installation we want to delete this uh, particular folder uh, after the installation so we'll do while when you are when we are installing the joomla practically language layout all those things are available here so next we want to just rename these things so i'm going to rename as um what dcs mag or oh, department of computer science magazine dcs mag then i want to just copy the thing and paste into my root folder what is my root folder my root folder is you can see here root where ww html once we can go it directly root where ww html and uh, this is my root so i just paste all the things here yeah it's right cs dcs mag is ready but one more thing is there uh, i'm using a ubuntu machine i'm using a ubuntu machine so that i need to enable read write and execute permission to this particular folder so i need to execute read write execute permission to uh, this folder so uh, how can i do this i can do this with the help of a terminal so for that i have uh, a nice command which is yeah ch on ch on uh, sudo ch on big data big data my uh, user uh, slash var slash ww html and uh, my folder is dcs mac so i'm giving the permission now it is okay uh, ownership permission is there then i want to do one more thing i need to uh, allow the read write and execute permission so how we can uh, put that read write permission uh, into the dcs mac yeah so the 77 is read permission is okay write permission is okay and execute permission okay um, so this is read write permission so all those things are ready um, uh then now all the files can file inside this folder can read write and execute okay then let's uh move into the browser okay we can close this we can close this we need only this one so we can localhost dcs dcs mac yeah this is the installation page of joomla um so this is we are uh, now we are installing the joomla so we want to uh, pass through three different uh, stages the first one is configuration stage and the second one is uh, database configuration and the third one is overview just uh, it's very easy uh, overview stage
okay then configuration uh, stage what is uh, we can we can fill uh, different items different uh, values this is a language different languages are available here but i choose uh, english united states us english uh, that is very comfortable with me so us english is okay uh, main configuration so main configuration we need to put as name for the site so we can put uh, c d c s mac no no it is mac so this is uh, department of computer science magazine uh online magazine okay so this is okay this is site name and description yeah i want to put a uh, email id and okay underscore tcs at uoc dot ac dot in so this is a personal email id and administrator name so we can put admin the password yeah we have a password yeah we have a password so these are the items site name description of the web page uh, administration email id administrator username administrator password and uh, site offline if i put the yes button what will be happen the site can be set online later on through global configuration that is if i put yes set the site uh, front end offline when installation is complete we know uh, what is a front end this is what a front end um, no 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 sorry um, dcs dot uoc dot this is what a front end so after installation if i put yes then what will be happen you cannot see a front end like this that means the public user cannot access uh, the front end so i don't want to uh, hide anything from the public user so i just press no i want the site as online so now it is okay and we'll move into second we just, just we next we will move into the second uh, stage so that is what the database configuration so before uh, moving into this stage we want to create a database over here so i jump into the php admin so we can access the php admin we can access the php admin localhost slash php admin so next we need to create this is the php admin as we know uh, these are some um, some of the uh, server uh, database server web server configurations my working with the uh, uh, linux linux local host mm, my skill is my database and uh, the version server version is 5.5.5 .5 and i'm working i log in as a user root uh, and this is my character set care set uh, this is my uh, apache machine version database and all so next we will move into create a database so how we can create database it is very easy with php admin so you can see here a database button so just press the database button and enter the name of database over here database dcs mac is my database so yeah dcs mac i'm creating the database yeah you can see here a database is ready so let us logging into the database see how many tables no tables are here no tables are here so let us come back to the previous section so i'm selecting my database it is what is that my database here this is mysql so i'm select mysql mysql what is my use uh, user i mean host you can see uh, my host is what i'm i'm, I'm using localhost as a user uh, as a user root root as a root as a root as a user root in localhost so i'm using localhost i'm uh, my, i'm using uh, root user my password okay this is my password and uh, my database name dcs mag is my database name and i'm putting a prefix uh, dcs we'll see what is this prefix so the prefix is nothing but if you create any table in this database uh, now this is the table con uh, the, this database contain no dat no tables so if you create any table in this uh, with the help of joomla it will be have a prefix dcs and uh, you can see another option backup uh, if uh, backup any existing table from joomla installation with the same table prefix so uh, if any uh, tables are there in the uh, database now there is no database no table in this database so if anything is there uh, it will be backup okay so if if you don't want you can just press the remove button so i'm just keeping backup 
uh, so it is ready i enter database name host name username user is root host is localhost and a password and my database name everything correctly the next button so now we are in the third level the last level finalization level so uh, this is uh, for installing sample data so when you are creating a joomla website uh, joomla cms website uh, sometimes the joomla provide a default data so if you are a beginner you can play with joomla with some default data so you can choose any one of this item otherwise you don't want any basic level of uh, data you can press this one so i am a uh, beginner uh, we are a big we are beginning the joomla so we will select the uh, this item sample data uh, learn joomla english uh, sample data and uh, email configuration is another uh, better option if i press yes what will be happen send the configuration settings to my particular uh, email uh, this email i reg uh, the registered email but uh, as such i am working with uh, local host so i don't want to send any email uh, email and things if i'm working with a remote host i can enable this option so this is we already did the previous configuration items uh, site name description site is uh, not offline administration email id admin password and this is the database configuration you can see here database type database host name database username and the password database name and the table prefix and all and these are some pre installation checks so you don't want to bother about these pre installation checks and recommendation settings so all, always do, this will be uh, okay with uh, the minimum requirement if anything you can see and uh, know like this so all the things are okay here all the things are okay so next we are going to install the software by just pressing this button now uh, the joomla is going to be installed and uh, a few minute uh, the joomla will get installed in your local machine so it take a few minutes to install yeah it's moving yeah it is completed so we got a message congratulations joomla is now installed so i told you after when we are installing a joomla software we are working with the installation directory correct yes uh, but after installation we don't want to keep the installation folder so we need to remove the folder so how we can remove the folder we can just remove the folder by pressing the remove button so i'm just pressing the remove button yeah it is uh, installation folder is successfully removed so next we have uh, the installation is complete next we have two interfaces i told you the administrator the backend view and the site view so we will move into the site view open in a new tab and uh, we will move into the administration window so this is my administration login and this is my front end i told you we after installing joomla we got some sample pages sample pages to navigate through the joomla to study the joomla so this is a sample uh, website Sam the website is filled with some sample data and we can play with the sample data this is the administration window how we can add uh, logging into this page we can just logging into the page admin is my user and my password is again i'm typing my password yeah it is okay so this is the backend uh, for your joomla uh, okay so this is the backend for your joomla and this is the front end for your joomla okay so this is what uh, uh, joomla installation uh, i hope uh, it is clear uh, so uh, just uh, uh, concluding what we need to install joomla we need to uh, install joomla we need uh, apache server and mysql and one more thing i forgot to put it here that is uh, the copy of the software which can be downloaded from joomla.org slash download.html so uh, i hope it is clear uh, once again this is me anub uh, research scholar department of computer science university of calicut uh, thank you for watching my video have a great day so i'm going to stop stop my video okay thank you